I have 631. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah hopefully, my, hopefully my phone will All right, well, can you see somebody pop up there? Oh, there she is. There she is. Hey, Sue. I don't see her. Oh, she's connecting still. So. Yeah, oh. connecting to audio. Oh, gee, she could give us the tour of her new home. <laughs> she could. She could. Oh, hey, Sue. Hey, Sue. You got somebody yeah. else, too. I do. We could, you could give us a tour of your new home. Who is little man? Oh, I wonder. I mean, young young young. Young. You're not on audio. Can't hear you. I haven't muted her. There How's that? Go. Ah, much awesome. better. You got it? Did you hear it? Yeah. I hear you. Yep. Turn it off. So did you hear me say we could have a tour of your home? Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you ignored me? <laughs> it's not ready for touring yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's still plenty of boxes around. That's okay. Set my red folder. You've moved, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So who is little Matt? I don't know. I can't, I can't undo them. They have to undo themselves. Doesn't let me. Is it Karen then? It might be Karen. It's Karen. It's Karen. Hey, Karen. How are you? Good. How are you? How's, okay. how's Richard down in Florida? Shh, I'm on my deck. <laughs> oh. oh. Don't tell <laughs> us that. <laughs> enjoying, the sunset, enjoying the sunset, I'm assuming. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What did enjoying what? I said, enjoying the nice sunset, if you had one. Yeah, I guess. I'm ready to come home, but no. We'll come tomorrow. We have three storms. I can't get down my driveway. <laughs> well, we're ready whenever you're ready, Karen. All right. I'm, I'm ready. OK. Um, I'm sorry. I sent out the minutes today. I don't know if either of you get a chance to look at them. We're just going to take a brief look at them, see if there are any additions, corrections. Hi, Henry. No, I have any writing details. Oh, here, Chris. Thank you. You're welcome. Does anybody have any additions, corrections? It looks good. Thank you, Betty. I know I didn't go into a lot of detail about all of That's fine. Did we Betty. send Becky Steele a uh, thank you note? Yes. yes. Okay. Good. Yeah, I sent the address to yeah. Sue and uh, one to Rick Ray. Yes. Okay, great. Uh, we, we will need to do one for um, Hazel Labby. If you want to send me her address. Okay. Yep. We'll do. Um, and then I'll need some stamps, I think, after her. Okay. So I'll just stop in and get them from you. Um, actually, you can't just stop in and get them because we've gone to a Pitney Bowes machine. So I'm going to have to go down and purchase them. Oh, okay. Okay. And then I just charge it out to the senior resource. Okay. Yeah. We don't have them on hand, but I'll shoot you off an email. Okay, sounds great. Okay. Is it Rick Roy or Rick Ray? Rick Ray. Ray. Becky put a lot of work into her presentation yeah, that she did. Yeah. I thought she deserved the thank you. Oh, yeah, no, I think so too. Okay. 
Um, make a motion to approve minutes. Second. Everybody in favor? Yeah. Okay. All right. Good job, Betty. Thank you. Okay. So um, got through the minutes here. So one thing on the minutes was that the sign had not been ordered yet. The sign is here. It oh. is. <laughs> So it's a two-sided sign, and there's also a white board, white black chalkboard that goes with it. So we can at least put it out. I don't think it's too heavy. I'm not sure. I mean, I I can move it around. Is it, the wind's not going to blow it around. Oh, we're not going to no. be able to leave it outside permanently because of the snow banks and. No, but it'll be when the weather gets better. It'll be nice to have it in the summer. Yeah, it'll be nice to have it in the summer. And the letters are black. It's black and red. I think. They're black and red letters. Oh, they good. came with it. Um, I think there's like five of each. Nice. So it should be enough to get us by. At yeah. least let people know that are driving by that we have events going on there mm -hmm. um, with crafts and uh, movie Mondays. Where did you go? So Betty had researched one mm -hmm. and this, um, I had to sign up for an account, which I hesitate to do with um, the town's information. So I looked for something similar on Amazon and uh, put in that name. And this was, I think it was about $20 more. So ended up being like 146 or so. It wasn't too, too bad. Well, yeah. ladies, work well done. Thank you. Yeah. So finally got it done. It would be nice um, for the summertime, especially. Oh, yeah. All right. So the board sign, Hazel Lavish. Um, I did talk to Hazel today about the balance classes, mm -hmm. and uh, she did two free classes. As a matter of fact, they're going to continue with classes down to the center, but these will not be for free. Um, it's something that um, seniors want to go down and pay a fee, then they'll be able to continue. But she had, I think she said eight on uh, the first uh, Wednesday, and then um, only three up to North Belgrade Community Center. But it was nice of her to, to do that and to mm -hmm. offer it for free and just give people an introduction. I did get a little bit of feedback and it the balance classes were good for the most part and it could have been pared down a little for older folks. Was, um, a lot of um, my walking group, um, Few, quite a few of them went, went and they found it extremely beneficial yeah. and they truly enjoyed the class. They liked her. She was very accommodating. Um, the only thing they said that they felt bad for the men because the men were too short for the chairs. And I said to them next time, have them use the bars, you know, oh, on yeah. them. Yeah. But, um, as a matter of fact, we use some of their exercises today. Oh, really? Um, but uh, they were very, very pleased um, mm -hmm. with her. So wow. that's that's yeah. that's good. I yeah. I would love to go, but it's at one o'clock, and that just breaks up my whole day. Yeah. So um, she was she was really good. There were ten at the session at the Center for All Seasons, oh, were they and um, including two men, um, and. It was wonderful. It really was good. We had a great time. One of the men is not going to go back, but the other one is. But um, the, my walking group people that went had said it was absolutely wonderful. She's yeah. very, very good. Yeah, I think it was helpful to people just to know how to mm -hmm. bending yeah. and you know how to correctly mm -hmm. picking things up and doing those kinds of things. But um, so you went so yes, yeah. yep, she was really good. Good, so I'll give you her address and we'll get a card off to Hazel. Yes, um, do we know what she's going to charge? I do not. Um, she is working that out with uh Dan at the center, I guess. 
he thought it was a very well attended program and it was a program that he wanted to continue down there. So that's good. So we're all working together and um, he's very good. Yes, yeah, he so, is. Very good. So she does a lot of um, sort of what you might think would be common sense, but not necessarily. We don't know proper ways to do things. I I wasn't sure whether it was going to include Tai Chi or something no, like that. No. Did did you go, Lois? No, I yes. I wanted to go, but I thought, no, I don't think if it's Tai Chi, I'm not interested. But I should you I should just go to observe. Yeah, I will. Um, but it wasn't anything strenuous. And, and, and it's at one. And and you know, it's like the walking group. Mm -hmm. Um you walk at your own pace. It's we not walk, set up yet, boys. We oh, walk. Okay. We walk around three times. We stop. We do very easy exercises, and um, everybody. I walk fast. There's three of us that walk very fast, but others just take their time. And nobody. Uh, we have other people who sit down if they can't if they can't do it. So everything is at your own mm -hmm. pace, and um, and it's the same thing with the balance thing. But you should try the walking or just go to the balance and just check it out and see if it's something that you like. I do an exercise class twice a week, an hour exercise, Zoom it. Um, so I just, you know, it's, you can only do so much. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but uh, and sometimes I, I doing it with it. other people yeah. though, too is. Yeah. And it's also um, good for socialization. Yeah. You know, it's a social thing right. and, and stuff. So. Um, we're just wonderful, happy with the walking. Yeah, it's just yeah, and I've heard that program is going really well, yeah. and and Dan's happy to host it. Yes, yeah, so. he plays some music for us, and yeah, uh, there was a small group today because there were so many um, people that were um, not feeling well. So yeah. um, it was a small group today, but we picked up three people, three new people last week, uh, mm -hmm. the week before rather. So. Um, the word is getting out, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. So there's signs at the health center. I'm sorry? At the health center, the Belgrade Health Center, there's signs for the walking. Oh, is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And pickleball has picked up. Um, he's had to extend the classes for pickleball because uh, people are just really getting into it now. Yeah. So, um, so the community center is really doing a lot of good things for people, you yeah. know, to get out and and try different things makes me feel good yeah yeah and that's it's important. wonderful that um the center for all seasons is it dan yes is is working so closely with us that that just is delightful yeah mm -hmm. yeah he, he's a really nice guy and he really wants to get programs going and we've talked about you know getting sharing um, different programs between the North Belgrade Community Center and down at the center. And um, and I'm glad that, you know, the walking program is, is going really well. I've heard a lot of good things about it and it's, there's a lot of space down there. So, but, okay. Anything else on? Okay, all right. So let's uh, move on to, um, the discussion from our friends of the Senior Resource Committee. So last um, meeting we had in in uh, January there, Becky Seal came, and I know you didn't make it, um, and Kim was not able to make it either. Um, I mean, I have a pile of paperwork <laughs> so to go through, and um, it looks like it is a lot of work. Is it doable? I think it's doable. Do we need to do it? I think is that's one of the is big the questions. The advantage is, just that we have more volunteers to draw from. I mean, what what? And I'm sorry, I missed last week. That's I mean, okay. The advantage so, is that you can we can fundraise, which we can't do. But we can we fundraise can fundraise right now. We can. we can. We have the authority to fundraise, but we're not eligible for grants oh, or, from different entities because. <laughs> We are not deemed a 501 c 
Is that 501-3C? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, so... Well, that's the big advantage is we could apply for grants. We could mm -hmm. apply for grants. Um, there may be more opportunities open to us. Um, another thing is, you know, developing our own Facebook page. That way, our, some of our seniors are directed directly to our Facebook page. Because if you go to the town website, has anybody gone to the town website and look for the senior resource? Community? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Find, I think it's hard to find anything on the town website. Yeah, I know. I know. And it was, it was supposed to be a simpler website. Yeah, know, it's really website. complicated. Yeah. And you have um, to scroll down to find out what you want to get yeah. and everything. So, yeah. And right now, the way that it is, is that, you know, we don't have access to the town Facebook page anymore either. I mean, everything that we do, we have to do it and then get it approved and go through the town manager on it. Um, I don't know. And sometimes for me, if I'm home on the weekend, that's when I like to do those simple things in a quiet space. And that's when I was putting a lot of things on the Facebook page. Um, so that got so, pulled back from you? What's that? That got pulled back from you? Because didn't- Yeah, I, I don't have access to that anymore. Oh, all righty. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I can send it off to the town manager and, you know, she, she can get things on. Um, but it would just be nice to have our own page that seniors could go to and everything on that page is for senior resources and um you know so i don't know i mean what what is everybody's thoughts you heard what becky had to say were you here last week? you were here yeah voice wasn't here either what, i wasn't you, there either there yeah it's a lot of work to get it done. I think it would be better if you had more volunteers. More volunteers. And it's, a huge, hard to and it's a huge commitment. It is. I mean, we have trouble now getting everybody to show up yeah. sometime. And, yeah. You know, well, we don't have trouble getting away. people to but we only the have meetings. It's getting volunteers to do the programming. Right. right. So that's what makes it. Yeah. I think before we go ahead with that, we'd have to see some way we can get more volunteers that'll have the time to put in to volunteer. Yeah. Can you guys, can you hear Betty? Yes, yes, I can hear. Okay, all right. I just wanted to make sure, I wasn't sure if this was projecting well. How come we can only see the top of Karen's head? Oh, because of how I'm sitting. Yeah, and she... Sipping her wine and yeah. I don't want to see what I'm doing. <laughs> you can just hear me. I'm here. Probably got her pajamas. It's all that matters that you're there. No, I don't have my pajamas on. I'm ready. I'd like to go play pickleball. Actually, I'm missing my pickleball tonight. Oh, dang! I know, but I give up. <laughs> so, what do you think about it, Gail? Um. I think it's a great idea and I think it's way too much work, honestly. I mean, I know myself, I couldn't commit to doing all the research and the time investment to do it, you know, and probably no one here has that energy commitment to do it, mm -hmm. you know. If we had someone who was, you know, very invested in you know in the whole idea of getting it up and running that would be wonderful but all of us are busy, busy or committed in their own ways and I just don't see that you know we have somebody that's willing to put in that time that much of a time commitment to do it mm -hmm. and you know from my experience with things like that you know even if it seems relatively straightforward once you get into the weeds with it there's a lot of stuff and unanswered questions that come up yeah. and then you're sort of stuck between a rock and a hard spot because if you're one person doing it, you don't really know, you know, how to move the process forward. And then you're stuck, you know, constantly calling Becky to bail you out. No, I'm not calling Becky to bail you out. <laughs> you know, Becky's a friend of mine, so no, I know. Like, yeah. hey, this is a wreck, you know. Yeah. 
Um, so I just bottom line, it's too much work, I think, for what we have going on right now. And maybe down the road, you know, yeah. once we make more people hear about us and join up and, you know, become a part of this. Um, but right now, I just, I'm thinking negatory. Okay. You know, yeah. I can I, I, I agree with you. Yeah. yeah. What about starting our own Facebook page? You know, I don't know. Is there any reason that we can't start our own friends of the seniors Facebook page? I mean, that's something else. Well, if you that would be up to the town, wouldn't it? Not if no, we're no, friends. Uh, of not we're not going to be as the committee. We would be friends. Okay. Okay. Posting information. Uh, yeah, Just seniors of Belgrade. Right. Got it. Right. Can we just do that though without becoming friends officially? Well, that's what I don't know. That's what I don't know. If I, I don't see any reason that we couldn't because we won't be linked to the town. No, well, they we're, just, we're, just friends. Friends. We're, just friends. we're just seniors. We're just seniors that live in Belgrade. Right. So we're not going to okay. be linked to the town in any way. Per no. se. Like neighbors well, helping except neighbors. Except that we might put like our. Um, committee meetings we might mm -hmm. put our committee activities we don't have to, we don't have to actually put them there we can just put notes to them to go wherever you know what i'm saying we we don't have to really list them there we can just put a a link to them and not actually that's, list them there yeah yeah that's true too but wouldn't it be the same as just neighbors help Belgrade neighbors helping neighbors? It'd be be something like that. Yeah, I I actually am on the Belgrade neighbors helping neighbors. The the thing is though is if um like you're not on that page, then you're not necessarily going to see the information. You're going to have to seek it out. So how do we get seniors to seek out information? I also think not all seniors are on Facebook. Not all seniors mm -hmm. are. Some on people Facebook. have absolutely no interest in being yeah. on Facebook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a Facebook account, but yeah, I, I do too, but I don't do it. <laughs> okay. Well, let, let me look into some. Things. I also think that um, I would agree with what everyone else said. Is but I also think we need to really be realistic and say, you know, we've only been at this out of year. Yeah. And we've, had, not some, a we've year. had some good successes and we've yeah. had some that haven't been, but we keep trying and more people will know about us eventually. Right. You know, you know, we'll yeah. find out about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And, and let me just uh, think on that and maybe talk to a few more people. Maybe talk to the friends of the library um, because they have a Facebook page. And I know that's not you know, the way to reach all of our seniors, but there are seniors that sit at home and they are on they Facebook. Are, yeah. Neil French has yes. thousands of friends on her Facebook mm -hmm. page. Mm -hmm. I know. I think you know, they don't have a lot going on in, in their lives. And so mm -hmm. that's like their socialization. Mm -hmm. That is their way they yeah. interact. But um, okay. I wonder if maybe... Um, in the summertime when Esther gets the lake region, I mean, the lake region is, is going now, but if we could invite her to a meeting and tell her what our committee is about, and she could write it up and we could tell her, um, you know, what um, events we offer and um, trying to, you know, even if we could have some pictures of something, like if somebody took pictures of mm -hmm. the movie thing or when Rick Ray was performing and just mm -hmm. he could just do a nice article mm -hmm. and say, you know, we welcome newcomers and go at it that way. Mm -hmm. um, I read that newspaper and that's that's free and she might be, you know, willing to come and sit down and we could submit some pictures so she could put it in the Lake region as well. And that's a nice way to get it out, get the word yeah. out. And that's free. Yeah, that is a good way to get it. And that goes out, you know, weekly. 
So, yeah, 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 it doesn't go to your mailbox. I get it in my mailbox. The Lakes Region or the Belgrade Lakes paper that the Sun Current. Oh, does. I get the Lakes. So they Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. yeah, you have yeah. to pick up the the one that has right. the guys. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. When, so when she when she starts, you know, getting that, um, yeah. it'd be nice to invite her and maybe have some pictures she could put in it and just do a little story on what we're trying to do for the seniors yeah. in the in the yeah. area yeah. No, and, maybe, and maybe we could be added to the calendars that are in there too you know exactly yeah that she has she lists every all the activities so maybe our you know our crafts and our our walking group and 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 um movie day and all that game day can be put in there that's a great idea yeah I did reach out to the Lakes Region Reader and come to find out it's Maureen Milliken who, who lists activities. <laughs> so um, she said that she would list them as I sent them over to her. So oh, um, good. the monthly activities. So, um, but, she, you know, she, we didn't talk about doing any articles or anything like that, but she would list our activities. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll look into, um, just look into our uh, friends of uh, the Senior Resource Committee, maybe a Facebook page, because I don't mind doing that. That's something I would do on the weekends, but um, <coughs> just we don't want to step on anyone's toes. So. Right. And in order for us to do, to become that friends of the Senior Resource, we have to when we fill out those papers, it's a seventy-five dollars fee, right? Oh, it's a two hundred and seventy-five. Oh, two hundred and seventy. I thought that was for the five hundred one C three. I thought wasn't something seventy-five. I don't remember. I don't think it was seventy-five. I thought seventy-five. That was for, that for the five hundred one C three, which was not the same as the friend. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. I don't remember what the friends was. Um. I March calendar. Um. I have not been able to get up to do movie Mondays. I thought I would get more free time. So it's been a month and a half. And um, so we do need volunteers. I did try to reach out to Mr. Libby. I called their home at least three times. And I, think I don't think they have an him. answer. Michelle. But I think it was also a case of Face to face, it was he was like, "Yeah, I'll do it," but I think he didn't really. Yeah, I think he was nervous about um, the set up and, and I will do to that. Run. I mean, I will go up and do that. Yeah, run I, the I didn't DVD hear what the there. Was, sorry. There's a movie. Oh, for the movie, for the movie Mondays. Yeah, yeah. Have well, just... people been showing up to that? We haven't had it. We haven't we had haven't. it, or at least. Well, I had it. Um, I think our last one was just before Christmas. I went up just before Christmas, mm -hmm. um, like the 18th or whatever it was. And we had, yeah, we had it. Um, was that the last one? Then? That was the last one. Yeah. We didn't have any in January. Yeah. We nope. had, um, we had the movie set. We had a couple, and, and Mr. Wiggy was going to do it. Oh, I really didn't think he was going to, but um, yeah, we haven't had any since Christmas. Yeah. Has anybody asked about it? I haven't had anybody ask about it either. Okay. No. No. It's Maybe. too bad because it was, I was really excited, like, oh, this is finally taken off. And I mean, at one point we had five. Yeah. Um, but I mean, Kim was taking vacation time too. Yeah. I, I totally understand. That's not, we got to do something. Time too, if, you know, I get an opportunity to go out. And during the holidays, like December, you know, people, Maybe busy with other things, but well, right. I mean, it was well. We had a couple people, like I said, the last one, but um, it was. I thought. I mean, I I thought it was okay. I thought you know, it was the people we wanted to reach were the ones that. Or just well, one woman said alone. to me, you know, I I I don't do anything. My kids keep telling me I need to do something, and mm -hmm. yeah. so she she was a regular. Um, and we had the sisters, Gail and her sister, that were coming every week. Um, the ladies across the street were coming, and then I had two guys that came one time. Or one guy came back. Twice. And it's like other things. I think you've got enough people that it'll catch on. 
I think so too. So I think so too. Yeah, but people just want to go. They don't even talk. They just go. They sit there because I've been up there. Yeah, and they, uh, just, they just sit there. They eat their popcorn. Yeah, they yeah. drink their water, whatever punch that I think I had once, and yeah. and um, eat their cookies, and they're happy just to sit there and watch right. the movie together. <laughs> So, but that's another socialization. It is. That it, yeah. People yeah. that maybe live alone or have whatever, it's a nice way to different kind of. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's an incentive for them to get up and get out of the house. Yeah. Right, right. That. right. Yeah. So um, I'll try yeah. really good movies, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I've enjoyed the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll try to get up here in March. I'll try oh. to get up and do a couple. <laughs> Couple of weeks myself here in March. Mary, did my neighbor ever stop by the volunteer that I told you about? No, no, he did okay. not. <clears throat> okay. Um, game day that that's also been on hold because we had nobody. And maybe you know, moving towards spring, we've got the sign now. We've got the sign now. We get the sign now. Try it again. Yeah. Put the sign out, and um, maybe just limit it to uh, um, Scrabble today, or yeah, backgammon, or not whatever. Yeah. Uh, one day day when I was down there, I had two women, two separate. Women, they didn't come together. That came over and asked me if we ever did bridge. Because oh, they were yeah. interested in doing a They bridge. were interested in doing a bridge. And um, they were actually interested in some evening. They wanted to do the evening, mm -hmm. an evening thing or bridge. Because I know years ago, and I'm not, I'm talking years ago, um, they used to go to the community center and play bridge. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, because my neighbors um, used to go down and play bridge. And, you know, uh, I don't know. I don't play bridge, so I don't know. Yeah. But they had their own little group, yeah, and they would I know people that went set there. up down there, and they would play bridge. So, yeah, yeah these two women asked, and then one asked me about um, sixty-three. We would think about doing sixty-three, or, you know, um, games. So, What's that? Uh, what yeah, what is? What? It's like bridge. You bid on how many, what you think you can make for points. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. So, and bingo, I thought bingo would be a good and bingo, yeah, yeah. But um, you know, like I said, now we got the sign. You know, hopefully, I'll tell you, bingo is popular. I volunteered at a nursing home, and when it's bingo it's, day, they're crowded. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I play down here, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and show me the money. <laughs> that's another game that's easy huh. i think it might be a good idea to try it stuff in the evening i think that was a good idea though do you think so yeah yeah maybe more towards spring when people will be out driving yeah more yeah, yeah. But I, but I, lighter, longer. yeah well and don't forget a lot of people that are living alone evenings are very long yeah. You know, so they might need, um, you know, some stimulation to go out in the evening to be with people. Yeah. Um, a lot of seniors still work. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now they're working longer. And you and I, Mary, we're still working. <laughs> uh, yes, we are. Working <laughs> okay. All right. Those are all good ideas. So, um, you know, it is moving towards spring, even though it's getting more snow down than we're down. <laughs> we got all winter. No. But when I came out of work tonight, I, I went, wow, look at this quarter section. It's still light out. Still yeah. light out. Yeah. It's still <laughs> light out here. Yeah. Karen. <laughs> Dark <Darn> here. <laughs> it's getting longer. So that's good. Yeah. So, yeah. And the sun is staying out longer. So mm -hmm. we're getting there. Okay. The ice still um, isn't melted, I'm sure. No, no it's just not in my way. driveway. Actually, we hardly got any ice here, so I don't think it froze very well. No. And before we get snow, I think it gave a false, uh, false impression of you know the ice. So, but anyway, sand buckets uh, for seniors so haven't had a lot of calls this year. We haven't so, had the ice this year, like yeah, no, and we had um, 
Tasha did. I had that group that at elections yeah. that mm -hmm. signed up, and Tasha got those buckets all mm -hmm. delivered. She did it all herself. So and there, there was quite a few. There was 15 on that list anyway. So I think I got one call a month or so ago, and I delivered that on my lunch hour. So that's it. You could lift those buckets? I filled the three gallon. No, I can't lift the five say. gallon. They're yeah. 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 Yes, they are. <laughs> what? I can't lift the three gallon. No, gosh. They're heavy. All right. Um, one of the other discussions we were going to have on Mary DeRosier and um, it's not here this evening, was um, she had talked about efficiency main and um, some of the programs that were offered to help people with their heating costs to their homes, uh, reviews of their homes. So we'll put that on the next agenda. And she also e emailed me about um, putting together an annual work calendar for the group. Usually, so just a calendar, just something for continuity and she was going to work on putting something together so if I do hear from her I will let you all know. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary do you know um, is Efficiency Maine the entity that um, was raising their electricity delivery rates? I know a lot of people have been um, you know having a serious increase in their um, power bills and <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't, but I think that's because um, I never opted to do anything other than the standard right. offer. But for some reason, I was thinking efficiency main had something to do with that. But I'm not I'm sure, sure yeah, yeah, Gail, if that was efficiency I, main, I, but I, I know that it give you um, reimbursements on right like if you do energy okay, improvements. Yeah, 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 I know you they do that. Right. I didn't know if they were also no, because there are groups that give you monies back but they don't give them to you what they do is they're called credits because mm -hmm, the town right. of belgrade participates mm -hmm. and credits then get applied to your electric bill mm -hmm. um, but you have to sign a contract with them for so many years mm -hmm. um, i know i got a mailing today um, from some other new group that um you know, is offering like a lower rate. Of course, they want you to sign up and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I just looked at it briefly, but, and it, you know, in the small print, it says, you know, this rate, which is, I guess, considerably lower, is only good for a certain period of time. Right. And then they bump it up. Right. But I don't, I'm just so. thinking of the standard offer. I, you know, I just don't yeah. feel like doing all the research and everything. And my power bills are low. So, and if they're low, then yeah, then you're safe. Yeah. Then you're yeah. safe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if some of those groups, um, and some of them come from those um, the solar, the people that right. Have solar. Yeah, I got yeah. a ton of those to join up in a solar farm, and I thought, uh, and uh, those credits get applied not to you, right, but to your CMP bill, right, right, right. So, so I guess I'm. Leary, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, well, and it's hard, I think, too, for seniors that are getting all this mail thinking maybe they're going to save money mm -hmm. and in the long run they end up maybe if you live they, another 50 they, years, they, right? Right, maybe if you live another 50 years, you'll get your money back on the solar, yeah, right, you know. exactly. <laughs> but as yeah. seniors, that's not going to happen, no, no, no. no. Yeah. not at all. Um. <clears throat> I don't have a lot more on the agenda. I put um, just expiring terms, which is Doris, Gail, and Karen. Karen, you gonna re up? She's asleep. <laughs> no, I'm not Where asleep. Are I'm here. <laughs> are, you, are you interested in staying on? How long is the re up? Three years. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the wine making me laugh. <laughs> it's the wine. No, it's not the wine. 
All right, well, give it some thought. I uh, emailed a application off to Doris. I can email an application off to you. You don't have to show up or anything because it's just a reappointment. Right, right. Yeah. But um, we'd love to have you stay on. Yep. You were a good active volunteer. No, that's okay, we'll see. <laughs> no, I'm gonna stay. I'm I, no, I'm I'm staying. I'm just yeah. I'm just thinking what three years. That's all. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I know you know Sue wants to get on too. We have a couple of people that have not been coming to the meetings. I'm gonna get in touch with them and you know see where they're at. Um, if they want to continue, if they don't want to continue, but. We have Sue Perino. Did you meet? You met Karen. Yeah. Yeah. You met Karen. And um, anyway, she's active in becoming um, a member of the committee. So I have, I have a question. Um, did you have any people uh, respond to if you were reaching out that, that we could have somebody help with tax preparation? So you didn't come to the last meeting, did you? Mm -hmm. I think that we all decided that it was too late mm -hmm. for that. Oh, okay. Yeah, for because sure. we're already moving. We're into March now, and your deadline's April 15th. So maybe, yeah. Yeah. you know, I think that's why Mary DeRosha was saying having a work calendar, work schedule. So we're ahead of the game instead of, you know, so that's something that we'd look for in December, mm -hmm. November, December, and line them up for January, end of January and mm -hmm. February, but maybe do that for next year because I did have an elderly gentleman come in and um, he asked me if there were any people local that he says, I just do a simple mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. really, I didn't have any names for him. I actually gave him my... Uh, tax preparer, um, Barry Scott. So <laughs> I sent him off to him. And um, no, it's interesting. Um, a friend of mine has always done mine. She just, you know, when she was um, running her taxes, she would do mine too through Turbo Tax. Right. But um, this year, she was doing something different. So she gave me my access information. And she said, go ahead and try to do it because. She said, really? A monkey could do it. It's so easy. And I thought, yeah, I hate everything to do with numbers. I hate things like that. Mm -hmm. But I thought, well, I know, you know, to have them prepared by a preparer, it could be a couple hundred bucks. And hmm. I even have a really simple return also. So anyway, when I, uh, last week on vacation, I thought, all right, I'm just coming, you know. <laughs> and honestly, so easy, I couldn't believe it. It is. It's really easy if you have a simple return. I just got to yeah. say, it all depends on how much you have. As long as you don't have investment. Right. Have right. If right. you have a simple, it's good. But right. if you don't, yeah. it's expensive. Yeah. And so, you did you say you had a heat pump put in? I'm sorry, what did you say, Karen? Did you say you put a heat pump in? No, I did not. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought I you said you did. No, I decided that comes off to. that comes off your federal tax. I didn't want you to lose that. Yes. Yeah. Also. Yeah. They had they yeah. had some good rebates there. They did. So mm -hmm. those kinds of things. Yeah, they did. Uh, I love my heat pumps. And when it was 18 below, they didn't shut off. I was totally shocked. Really? Yeah, well, uh, manufacturers say that it'll go below two. What's your yeah. brand? Is um, it Mitsubishi? Uh no, I got a Dakin. Mm -hmm. And um, I have two, one downstairs and one upstairs, and they never shut off, mm -hmm. which totally surprised yeah. me. You know, I get uh, fuel oil from Augusta Fuel, and they also install heat pumps. And um, just prior to all that cold weather we had, they sent out emails to all their customers and said, please do not run your heat pumps during this weather because they'll either, you know, uh, malfunction and they're hard to repair. You know, there's a shortage of people who repair, and also um, they can keep tripping your circuit breakers. And if you keep turning them back on, you can really do a lot of damage to them. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, it doesn't matter, you know. But anyway, I thought that was interesting that they did that. You know, maybe it was just 
to give people a heads up. Because, I mean, during that cold snap, it was really cold. Oh, yeah. I, so, think I When I knew it was going to be that cold, I had I had um, put the heat up high so mm -hmm. it would stay. Because I don't play with my temperature. I set it mm -hmm. and I leave it alone. And mm -hmm. um, But they never shut off. I think the one downstairs shut off for maybe 20 minutes and then it kicked back on again. Mm -hmm. But um, I never got anything from my people. And um, mm -hmm. uh, I went through Dave's world and um, they just, everybody just said, keep them going. So, really? Yeah. Wow, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. I know one of the other things they said too, is that even if your ambient temperature in your house feels like you know, relatively comfortable. If you've got a hot water system like I do, you know, those baseboards are down on the, the bottom of your walls. And if you don't have any water running through there, your, your pipes are going to freeze potentially. So I, you know, I just thought, well, and then they also recommended if you've got a hot water, oil fire and hot water, just to turn your thermostats up, mm -hmm. you know, for a few days, for a few days just to, to make yeah, sure you don't maintain have to that. Yeah, just to make sure your pipes aren't freezing and you got water circulating through the system. Okay, uh, anything else, anybody? I have a couple questions. Sure. Um, who's doing crafts now? Nobody. Uh, and on the Hmm? Ann Greer is oh, doing crafts. crafts. Okay. Yeah, no, okay. Ann Greer is still doing crafts and she um she did quilling for the month of February. And I'm almost thinking she was gonna do it a week in March also. And they're so, still well attended. Um she's got about four or five. Uh -huh. So and, and mostly Ann is on the food pantry. And um I know Karen Childs goes. Um, I'm not sure who the other participants are, but I know that she does have a regular group that goes. So, and she's been good about getting in touch and emailing and just saying, this is what I'm doing. So it's not, it's just like one craft for the whole month. And then that's, yeah. And are we doing a table for election day? Well, that's open. Does anybody want to do a table for election day? I mean, when's election day? Anybody when is, does. When is election well, day? Election day is the 17th. So we have the candidates and the referendum questions. There are four or five referendum questions. We have candidates for select person, two positions, a two year position, and a three year position. And then we have the school board. And then on Saturday is the open town meeting, when which is, is the 18th. Oh, the 17th, you're talking Monday, about March. 8 to 8. Oh, March. And then, yeah. And then, uh, and actually, town reports are in the mail. Ooh. So, ooh. Well, I, I don't, if anyone wants to do a table, I can't do it until afternoon, yeah. but um, I'll, I'll put a table up there regardless with the file of lives on it. Um, I think people are still happy to get yeah, those yeah. and pick those up. Um, um, it was, I think, the last time with all the people signing petitions, we were kind of behind the curtain. So yeah. people were like, they were just fed up with petitions. They're like, no, I'm not yeah. going over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I, I'll get control of that. And so. are, is there any, and I don't know that anyone even wants to do um, like a big sale on election or um, other. So I don't want to step on anybody's toes initially. But that's what I wanted to give it to me. And I believe that the scouts are going to be doing something. So I'm not really sure. Who's going to do it? The, the Girl Scouts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm not really sure what yeah, they're doing. Yeah, they've done it Yeah. Well, I think they should. I mean, the Scouts have done it for years. Yeah, I think they should do it. Yeah, well, there, there wasn't a Girl Scout troop in Belgrade. Well, and we didn't have the last well, in-person meeting. There was nothing. They right. Were, it was fair. Yeah. All right. Any ideas? Anything else anybody wants to throw out there? Okay. Well, we were late last time. We're early this time. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming, Karen, Susan.
Have a good night. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, Thanks for setting up the Zoom. Yeah, you're welcome. Enjoy your wine, Karen. Thank you. And the sunset and the warm weather and pickleball and pickleball. Pickleball. There we go. Pickleball. Karen, Ken was at pickleball the other day and there were eight people there and he was the only guy. Oh, really? Uh -oh. It's we need to get some going. more guys involved. I know. <laughs> Got to find the love <laughs> of my life. <laughs> All right. Have, Have a good show. <laughs> Next meeting is the twenty seventh. Yeah, next meeting is the twenty seventh. Sounds okay. good. Okay, I'll send the info off to you too, Sue. Oh, I know what I wanted to just okay, ask you thanks. real quick. How was the What's how up? was the December holiday thing? Did that go off good? It was the, very. It was, yeah, it was I, nice. I think it was really nice. It was small, but I think it was really yeah. nice. Yeah, it, it was nice. Yeah. We didn't have a lot of attendance from the public. Um, a lot of us were there. There were ton of two of our select people showed up with two of our select people, people did show up yeah. oh nice rick, yeah rick ray did a really nice nice job so yeah we should have got some pictures i, know. I didn't that even think nice. about that yeah. but, uh, oh you had a singer yeah mm -hmm. we yeah. did we <laughs> nice. had somebody who sings here in maine around and he actually lives next door to the north belgrade community center <laughs> that's so, nice yeah oh, cool. but it was it was I'm nice. glad it went well. Yeah, it was a beginning. Yeah, so. exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. all a beginning, you know. I you think it's you need to have music go longer. I'm sorry. People left. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, then you what, know, maybe next year too we could um well, that's what I thought. Um, we pay a high school or we could take the ground and the forest could sing some, yeah. some Christmas songs or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I know that they do do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, we've talked about doing a spaghetti dinner or something too. We are put that on the agenda one of these days. Okay. Okay. Hi guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night.